okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question now <clears throat> two flasks p and q contain an ideal gas and are connected with a tube of negligible volume and this is very important condition compared to that of the flask the volume of p is twice as that of q now there are two chambers and they are containing the same gas so the molecular mass is the same and all that but the volumes are different so this volume will be taken as 2v here the volume is v and we can just assume that the number of moles here is n2 number of mole here is n2 n1 and n2 okay and so uh, the gases will first of all flow through the pipe into the two chambers and then they will just settle down and when will they settle down when the exchange of the gas will will be stopped when the pressure in the two chambers become equal to each other so without even telling this thing we know that the pressure in both of the chamber has to be taken as same now <clears throat> what is about temperature now p is held at a temperature of 200 kelvin okay and q is maintained at a temperature of 400 kelvin fine and we want to find the ratio of the mass of gas contained in p divided by mass of gas contained in q so how can we do that so first of all let us say we are going to apply ideal gas equation for the container p so p is the pressure and 2v is the volume pv is equal to nrt so i'm just taking n1 as mole here r is a universal gas constant and temperature is 200 kelvin whenever they say ideal gas the first thing that should come to your mind is ideal gas equation and that's it so we have taken this thing now for q now for q the pressure will be taken as same because only then it will become stable otherwise not volume is v and number of mole is n2 r and the temperature is now 400 so clearly now what we can do is we can divide these two equations one and two so p into 2v divided by p into v is equal to n1 into r into 200 divided by n2 into r into 400 so r and r gets cancelled out v and v gets cancelled out p and p get cancelled out and we can cancel 200 with this it will be 2 here so 2 will be cross multiplied so this is what we have now n2 divided by n1 is coming out to be 4 divided by 1 it means that the chamber p is containing four times the moles which are contained in the chamber q so obviously uh, now you can see that number of mole can also be written as the weight or the mass of the gas mass of the gas divided by the molecular mass this is how we find the number of moles of a gas isn't it now we substitute this thing into n1 by n2 is equal to 4 so we get m1 divided by m divided by n2 which will become the reciprocal so it will be m2 and m so m and m gets cancelled out again the ratio for m1 and m2 is coming out to be 4 so mass contained in p is 4 times so it is 4 by 1 so our answer is c this is how we do it i have tried to be as clear as possible even for the mathematics that we are going we are doing here okay so even now if you have some problem with the mole concept from chemistry or something please mention that in the comment section and this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best